everyone welcome to my channel my name is Lizzie I think this is gonna be the last one for tonight um, but this is a deep dive into your relationship slash situationship so let me start with um, this is like letters astrology numbers little little things I'm just gonna put it in the up. little clues here that tell me All right, we have H. Another H. E. X. Z. K. I, I, <laughs> you, high priestess, bad karma, new job. Okay, someone's facing bad karma here. Oh, and it flipped to good karma. So you're, if you have been having bad karma, your your karma could be changing. Um, you could be getting a new job or someone got a new job. High priestess, strong psychic connection or psychic abilities. So let me look at these letters. I got high. Sex is calling to me even though there's no X or S. I'm hearing kiss and sex even though it's not spelling that. But these could be letters um, that are in your name or your person's name. Let's get some details about who this person may be. So this is mass feminine masculine energies these are real people characters names it's going to help me describe who this person is so if you're the feminine this could feminine energy this isn't gender in tarot it's always energy so whatever sounds like you is you whatever sounds like your person those are the energies you are currently in so let's talk about the feminine energy please describe the feminine in this relationship situation here, please April nails what was on top came out um, could be somebody who is looking for some truth as in April O'Neill wasn't a reporter investigator could be someone in the public eye in the actual news um, only female and a male group Amy Winehouse could have been a previous addict or dealing with addiction um, or helps with addiction. Alicia Keys could be a musician, could be from New York City, very authentic, very humble. Britney Spears, scandal, or um, transformed their life, because Britney Spears both had a scandal and a comeback. So with Amy Winehouse above it, they could have made a comeback from any adversity they faced. And Jen, Jennifer Lawrence is popping to me. Um, <laughs> Very, uh, maybe they were like a life of the party, very funny, maybe a little bit clumsy. That girl's always tripping on red carpets to the point of I think she does it on purpose. <laughs> Let's talk about masculine energies. Abraham Lincoln, I cannot tell a lie. Someone who's very honest. Could be a politician or a leader of some kind. Change maker. Ray Charles, music, could have vision repair, repair, vision repair, <laughs> maybe you did have your vision repaired, or vision issues, could be blind, rocket, guardians of the galaxy, a little bit of a angry about, maybe you 
have um, or your person has some kind of image issue with themselves, I always feel like Rocket got pissed when you called him a raccoon. You know what I mean? Like, I am not a raccoon! <laughs> I don't know why that is popping. A little bit of anger issues, perhaps. Jacob Palmer from Crazy Stupid Love. That's Ryan Gosling's character. Like that hitch energy. Could be a soldier or a police officer. Uh, Captain Planet. Somebody definitely conscious of their um, carbon footprint. Sarcastic. Could be an athlete here. But I just feel like you got it going on. You got style. You got class. You a badass. <laughs> Alright. So... Before I get any further, let's get a little bit of some advice from Spirit to you about your life before we get into the... Ooh. Hey! This isn't even supposed to be in here. Capricorn in reverse. So somebody's kicking addictions or kicking the liberal karmic. Somebody, the devil is getting their ass handed to them. So if you have any karmic issues, your, your karmic's getting their butt whooped right now by Spirit. Say yes to open to your open door there are no wrong turns 22 you're being spiritually guided say yes don't let fear stop you there's no right or wrong it's just following your gut at this point trust your instincts trust your heart don't let self-sabotage become a thing here because of past death or past hurts so let's see what kind of energy this person gives off to you the game changer you feel this person is like gonna blow up big or you feel like this person is it the, the literal game changer like your person your spouse let's see how you you come off to them the seeker on a quest for knowledge a quest for truth The poet. You're definitely good with your words and you're an artist of some kind to them. You have a, they like the way you speak and carry yourself. Let's get some astrology. This could be your sign, your person's sign, but I talk about energies. Take what resonates to you. This is collective. Seventh house partners. Yeah, this is your true partner. This is a divine partner if you were wondering. This is your DM or your DF, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Void, of course, Moon. You miss this person deeply. You feel a void without them, even if you've never actually been with them physically. Since seeing them, since meeting them, since being with them, you haven't been complete without them. Twelfth house, escape. You. This person is a fantasy. I think you want to take run away with them or they want to run away with you. Um... You go away in your mind thinking about this connection, this person. Fourth house, roots. You feel a soul tie to this person or you already have roots established with this person or with something else. You could perhaps want a family or they want a family. Oh my God, that Capricorn I use. You are connected to the literal devil, like a karmic. You gotta cut that karmic out of your life. Somebody got somebody's gotta get out of something. Ugh. Solar eclipse revolution. We just had a bunch of solar eclipses, I believe, yesterday. You're seeing the truth. You're making change in your life where you need to. Grand trine blessings. This person came into your life, made you realize something was missing. They were an escape, an illusion for a while, but it grew into something else. You want a partnership with this person, but you already have codependencies or addictions that you need to focus on. You're transforming yourself, getting ready for this person. This person is transforming themselves as well. You're provoking each other. You're turning each other on. Um, you see the other as a blessing. This is mirroring energy. You're both realizing the truth that you're in love with each other. North Node and realizing you have a life purpose together. It's not just love. Like you're meant to have babies. You're meant to build. Yeah, routine. Like you think about this person every day. 
This person thinks about you. They've become a part of your routine. They're already ingrained in your life without even being there. That's an intense situation. So let's see. What should I do next? Let's try numerology or my um, self-made card deck. Let's talk about your person. What's going on with them? They want to express feelings or they currently are expressing feelings. Social media stalking or in person. They're, they're stalking the divine masculine. This could be a divine feminine energy. Or they're stalking you, collective. You are very grounded. You got it going on. They're watching you. They're liking. They're expressing that they got it bad for you. But they are a little bit hurt. I'm not sure if it's hurt for you or hurt from their past. Drama queen, bougie. This person, um, I don't feel like they're the drama queen. They have, they in their mind, you're attached to like a very over dramatic baby mama or baby daddy. Like you feel like this person is doing, or they feel like this person is doing damage on this relationship. But they want to start a new romantic cycle with you. They could be dealing with someone who's toxic if it's not you. Troubles in love, open heart, success, power, financial gain, victory in battle. This person has overcome a past hurt. So it's past tense for them. They're currently in the energy of healing from all relationship traumas, childhood dreams. They're doing a lot of inner stuff, which is beautiful. Let's see where they're at with you, huh? They could be talking about their healing. Oh my goodness. Bad health. They think that you're, um, this is an unhealthy connection or maybe you're going through something very toxic or they could be associating you with dark magic. Right? Yeah. They think you're doing magic on them. Or someone in your life is doing magic on them. They think that you're toxic. Why? Empress. Mother, they want... Emperor came out. They know that you're the other half. You got someone in your life doing dark magic. That psychic energy. This person is a visionary. This is a divine feminine with gifts. And you're attached to the literal devil who is doing dark magic on this empress. This empress had no choice but to cut cords with you because you're attached to the devil. That's why the Capricorn came upright. You're still attached. This person won't come back around until you are you have freed yourself from... Yeah, my, my throat chakra is getting squeezed. This person feels it, senses it. Yeah, this person... This devil energy was making them feel like shit about themselves affecting their mood. So they cut you off. They cut cords with you. They moved on and focused on career, took a new job, or they're moving towards... That new job did come up in the beginning. So this Divine Feminine is focusing on career and cutting ties with you. Um, not because they don't love you or don't want you, but because you're uh, attached to something that's doing very um, mean spiritual things or physical things against them and it's hindering their life and their energy so let's see where you're at wisdom acceptance hard work karma you're trying to clear this bad karma that this devil energy brought into your life collaborations success you're you're focusing on work um something something about the career space is going well for you They were too. Jealousy, revenge, bitterness. You might be angry at this person. Or that's that devil energy is angry that you're collabing and doing well with other connections. You're dealing with someone very jealous. Or you feel this person is very jealous and hateful and spiteful of what you got going on. Struggling in a difficult time. Lack of hope or confidence. Lonely. Lot. You're You're sad. Um, I think you felt this person pull away from you. You feel this person moving on. And it, it's making you terribly sad because you know you're connected to this devil. You sense and know that this person is on. Like, you're clearly going through it too if this person is doing spell work. 
you're on to them that you're losing what you really want because of this devil look a love offer proposal is popping like you want to come in you want to come in hard and get this person because you feel like you're losing them but you can't you got this devil attached yeah love bombing this connection making um making your relationship seem really glorious and perfect when it's not could have, your person could have got wind thinking you're happy in your relationship. That could be another reason why they're moving on here. I've been picking this up. Yeah. You're ending this toxic cycle. You're trying to get out. You're trying to get the fuck out. You're losing the one you want. You're having a glow up in your career space. This devil energy's pissed. Weighing options. You still have to make a choice. You're finding the answers. You're learning the truth about this devil energy. Maybe you didn't see the devil for what it was in your life and now you currently are okay it's getting getting thick with the dramas huh all right let's see what your person wants from you in the situation or this relationship how they feel and what do they want let's see forgiving and learning they are forgiving you i don't think their beef is with you i think it's with this devil energy but I think they're also upset that maybe you pick someone else or that you're not picking them. Trust. This person is seeing the lesson in this. They're not trying to be angry or spiteful, but I think they're trusting that if they give you up and give you the time to get away from this devil energy that you're going to come back. Or at least they're hoping. You deserve love. You, that this person took their shot in some way or um, they're, they're taking a new shot. They could be putting themselves out there trying to date other people um, just because they don't want to wait on you anymore or they want you to shoot your shot at them. They're, yeah, religious factors. There's something spiritually keeping them from coming towards you. Um, they do want to give this a chance. They do want to see where it goes. But I feel like either you're married or in something or you're connected to something that if they're in the light and you're with somebody or has family that's in the dark, this person isn't going to touch it with a 10-foot pole. They don't go near it. Yeah. They could sense a past life connection. They could be seeing patterns repeating. Um, and they could be it could be causing red flags. So let's see what you're feeling, wanting in this situation or relationship. You want to show that you are into this person, but you can't. You want to. You want this person to know subtly that you are on their way, like you're trying to shoot hints at this person. You want them to know that you're into them. Yeah, you want to make the effort. You want to run towards this person. Whitney Houston, I want to run to you. It's playing in my head. You want to go towards this person hard. You know that it's safe for you to love this person. You trust them. And very soon you're coming in. You're trying to stay optimistic that you're not going to lose them in the meantime. And you're trying to show this person that you're into them. You want to marry this person or you're currently in a marriage and you need to get out of it. You want to make amends with this person. You want to beg for their forgiveness. You're, you're trying to call them back to you. You might actually be doing spell work. You need to stop that. But this is your person, if you are. This is your soulmate. This is the one that you want. All right. Let's see the truth about what is going on in this person's heart towards you. They're trying to make healthy choices. You're attached to something very dark or they just got... They went to a dark place because you're with someone and they can't have you or because you rejected them. They're talking about their past experiences and their pain and what lessons they've learned. This person is very much um, cleaning up their life, cleaning out their suitcase, bettering themselves, doing a lot of spiritual healing. Um, they're hiding their feelings for, from you. They hide the truth from you because they don't. Um, feel safe around your energy. Oh, where did it go? Hey. <laughs> there we go. 
yeah, they're healing their heart. Either from a pain you inflicted or just some pain in general. Let's see the truth about your heart towards this person. You like them. You like them a lot. You want to be married to them or you see that going in that direction one day. You want to be physical. You want to physically show this person how much you love them. But you feel like they stabbed you in the back. Or maybe you stabbed them in the back. You feel this person is your twin flame, but there's something sabotaged it. And I think you stabbed them in the back by hiding your feelings. Or they hid their feelings from you. Someone was too cool for school in this situation. Why is that not? Oh. You're transforming. Maybe you ran because you were scared. Maybe you picked an easier option. Maybe you were in something and just denied it. But I think you want to sit down and you want to tell your person. You want to know how they feel. You want to, you want to know what's up, collective. What is up? <laughs> you're sick of wondering. Um, at the same time, you're in something or just dealing with your own addictions or busy schedule or complications. Let's see. What's your person's life like right now? What's on their plate, if you will? Psychic abilities in reverse. They're trying to ignore this connection. Maybe they're trying to um, step away from their spirituality or step away from... This could be deflecting their feelings from you, ignoring the spiritual signs. Taking a break from their spirituality. Yeah. They have new beginnings, especially with career. Um, talent in reverse. I'm not taking it in reverse. I feel like either they haven't shown what their new talent is or they don't know what it is. They could be on a journey to find what their next job is or what their life calling is. Let's see. What's on your plate? What's going on in your life right now, Collective? Justice. You could be getting a divorce or you could be facing some karma here or seeing the truth. Oh, you're grieving this relationship. You're grieving a loss. You're grieving an outcome. You're not speaking your truth, though. You can't talk about it. You could be um, contractually obligated or you're just keeping it under wraps um, because you're in a commitment. You can't tell your person you're still in this commitment. <sighs> okay. So, let's see. I'll talk to you first. Currently, what do you need to know about this connection? Why are you so connected to it? Why are you attached to it? Why is it existing? What is it bringing for you? What's your side of all of this? Cell phone, something, uh, internet, flood, money. Either you want to work with this person, you could have found them on the internet. You could be really inspired by this person creatively. This could be an online connection. They flooded your heart. They're making you feel things you've never felt before. Um, they could be inspiring you to make money creatively. Or you just see a, a big... This energy of you guys could work well together. Again, with email, you want to reach out to this person electronically, or maybe you did. Childhood home. It made you face childhood wounds. It made you see that you've always been trying to please people in your life or, or reach a status um, of success that was never really meant for you. You just had an image of what success was and you chased it and then you're like, well, this really isn't what I thought. Or this person awoke your inner child and made you connect to your creativity. Yeah, job. You want to work with this person or this person is attached to your job. I think that... <laughs> You either want to spoil this person or they make you want to spoil themselves. You see them as a gift. They were a gift in your life. They, they came in your life to make you see value and to live in the moment. 
and it wake your sexual passion because I think you've been bored and kind of dead inside. This person came in to wake you up. That's why it's here. Let's see, why Why did you come into the, your person's life? What's their side of it? What's come? Doctor. Made them, you made them heal. You brought closure to wounds that they weren't opening. Computer again with the, I think this is definitely an online connection. Um, they see you as an inspiration. You inspired them. You helped them through a difficult time. Um, you could be their baby mama, baby daddy, or you help them um, embrace their femininity, masculinity, become a better parent. Something about a baby here. Guide them through it. Maybe you got them through their pregnancy or a loss. Or help them start something. Could be attached to music. You made them fall in love with music or tell their pain through music. Yeah, you help them you help them overcome. You were meant to come in their life to heal them. To make them fall in love with music and to bridge, come back to themselves, come back from grief. All right, let's talk about the future. What's going to happen with y'all? What's this connection? What is the situation? Ship? Where is it leading in the near future? Spirit? Someone's taking their shot because they're feeling strong and confident. Someone's making movement, taking a risk. But not in a public way. This is very subtle. This is very soft. It has to be secretive. It's going to be life changing for you both. Yeah, divine partnership. You're going to bring this together. You're taking a shot on it. And you are working together. You're, this is a strong power couple. Love and work. Building an empire together. Balancing your emotions. This is a genuine love. But you don't have to showcase it to the world. You don't have to be that fake couple. You genuinely have real feelings, but you keep your feelings to yourself. This is like protecting cup, protecting your relationship. But this is Ten of Cups. This is wish fulfillment. It's the best kind of life changing. The life changing you wanted. Somebody's making a cut to that devil energy and coming in to speak their truth. And it's going to, like, a whole new world for both of you. You could be very different, but new cycles starting for you both. Someone's charging in. Someone's going to take that, take that gumption and go for this in the near future. Because they're maturing. They're seeing the truth. They're seeing how long this relationship is going to go and how long it's going to last. Decisions are going to be made. Still a little bit of juggling because someone's heart's going to get broken. Someone's leaving someone else and running towards this connection. A lot, a lot of options on the other side. While this person is leaving something and, and running towards this person, this person is weighing their options, putting themselves out there, not seeing this person coming back. Their back has turned. So they're out there like on the dating field trying to find their way in life. But in comes this love. You are divine twins. You are partners. And you are manifesting each other. Even though this person is moving on, they're still holding a candle. And even though this uh, you have something on your plate, you're still hoping for this. This divine feminine still has love for you, even if they're not showing it. But there's a lot of fear and anxiety because you're still in a connection. So it's it's painful for you both to be away from each other because you have deep emotions. King of Queen King and Queen of Cups on the table. This is a divine partnership. Again with the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. This is a strong love that you have kids with, and this is somebody you build an empire with. And you cut people out of your lives and co go towards each other. You're letting go of everything to have this new start. Taking action. Masculine coming in. Taking action. Keeping this relationship secret and protected. Standing in your power. Protecting this this 
love, but also going forth in business partner, waiting for something to come in, waiting maybe to go public until you feel like you've had enough time together. But this is a stable, healthy relationship, and it will last even if you stay quiet or if you go public. You're going to plant seeds, have kids, build an empire together. You're going to be a free spirit, and still, even though you're very much connected, you still have individual lives, very protective and defensive of anyone that comes in between this or tries to. You guys, you, you don't fuck around. No matter what burdens you face in life, you move towards it together. You miss each other when you're gone. This is a very peaceful relationship. This is marriage. A spiritual connection. You're both going to have your own powerful careers and be powerful in your own right. But you're each other's cheerleader. You're always going to be planting new seeds. You guys are revolutionary couples. Yeah. This is your wish fulfillment. You dreamt of... If you had to sit and dream of your perfect person, it would be this person. And that person, it's the same for them. You are their perfect person. This is a very difficult situation. It's going to be difficult to come together, but it's going to be the best thing you ever had and the best thing you ever did, and you're going to feel like it's worth it. So... I like this vibe for you. If you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up below. If you like my energy, please subscribe. I would love to have you. To all my subscribers, I love you. Thank you for accepting me, and I will see you all again soon. I don't always do my readings like this. I show my face sometimes, but I like to give you something pretty to look at. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Love and light. Bye.